Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging radical equation and I will solve this question in two different ways. Equation is x equal to cube root of x minus 60 times x plus 1 over x minus 8. So denominator cannot be 0. I will write x can't be 8. Now let's begin our method number 1. First simplify both sides. I will begin with taking cube both sides. So cube and cube root we can cancel. So it would be x cube equal to x minus 60 times x plus 1 over x minus 8. Now I will take LCM and cross multiply the terms. x cube x minus 8 equal to x times x minus 8 minus 60 x plus 1. Let's simplify both sides. So x power 4 minus 8 x cube equal to x square minus 8 x minus 60 x minus 60. x power 4 minus 8 x cube equal to x square minus 68 x minus 60. Take all the term to LHS. x power 4 minus 8x cube minus x square plus 68x plus 60 equal to 0. This is one quartic equation. So our method number 1 is, let me write here, x power 4 minus 8x cube minus x square plus 68x plus 60 equal to 0. I can see the first two terms only. So I can write it as x square whole square x power 4. Then it is written minus 2ab term. So 2 times a is already x square. So what is b left? 4x. So I will presume this is our b. So I need to add its square and subtract its square. So I will add 16x square, the square of 4x and take away also the square. Remaining term as it is plus 68x plus 60 equal to 0. Now if you will observe the first three terms, it will give us one perfect square. It is x square minus 4x whole square. Check a square, so x square whole square, x power 4, b square, so 16x square, it is here, minus 2ab, so it is minus 8x cube. All the three terms are there. Now remaining I will consider minus 16 minus 1, so minus 17x square plus 68x plus 60 equal to 0. Now x square minus 4x whole square and I will take minus 17 common from the two terms. So in bracket I can write x square minus 4x and then it is plus 60 left equal to 0. Now this is quadratic equation in x square minus 4. Or you can replace also this by some other variable t. So I am writing directly it is quadratic in x square minus 4x. So I am calculating x square minus 4x using quadratic formula minus b. So minus of minus 17, 17 plus minus under the root b square. So minus 17 square 289 minus 4ac. So 240 divided by 2a. So it will be 2. If you will see it is equal to 17 plus minus the square root 49 left divided by 2. So x square minus 4x equal to 17 plus minus 7 over 2. So I will write x square minus 4x is equal to so with plus sign we can write it is 24 by 2. 
and with minus sign we can write 17 minus 7 so 10 by 2 so x square minus 4x it would be 12 and 5 so i will frame two quadratic equations x square minus 4x equal to 12 and second equation would be x square minus 4x equal to 5 let's solve both the quadratic equations using quadratic formula or factorization also so let me solve the very first one x square minus 4x minus 12 equal to 0 i can see 12 can be factorized as 6 times 2 so i can write minus 6x plus 2x it is our minus 4x minus 12 equal to 0 if i will take x common then it would be x minus 6 2 common then x minus 6 so we are getting x minus 6 overall common it would be x plus 2 left equal to 0 so from here we are having two x values minus 2 and 6 now from this quadratic equation x square minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0 we can write x square minus 5x plus x as minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0 x is common x minus 5 1 is common x minus 5 so x minus 5 overall common so it would be x minus 5 times x plus 1 equal to 0 so we will be having two x values from here minus 1 and 5 so there are four solutions minus 1 minus 2 5 and 6 method number 2 let me write here method number 2 and i will straight away write our quartic equation first it is equal to x power 4 minus 8x cube minus x square plus 68x plus 60 equal to 0 now i will straight away use synthetic division method and rational root theorem so 60 if i will write eligible factors then plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 plus minus 5 plus minus 6 and so on we can write like this now the leading coefficient if you will see it is plus minus 1 over only now if you will take the ratio of constant to leading coefficient it will be our eligible solution so let me put x is equal to suppose minus 1 check whether it is true or not so i will write 1 plus 8 minus 1 minus 68 plus 60 is it true so yes you can see 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out 60 plus 8 is 68 so it is true so i will consider minus 1 as base solution now let us apply sdm synthetic division method I will write all the coefficients of quartic equation 1 minus 8 minus 1 68 60 leading coefficient 1 as it is now i will multiply with our base solution which is minus 1 so 1 times minus 1 minus 1 minus 9 minus 1 times minus 9 9 8 minus 1 times 8 minus 8 60 minus 1 times 60 minus 60 0 so here we are having coefficient for cubic equation x cube minus 9x square plus 8x plus 60 equal to 0 again constant term is 60 so eligible factors are clear if i will put x is equal to minus 2 then you can see it is minus 8 minus 36 minus 16 plus 60 is it true so yes 36 minus 24 so it is 60 36 and 24 is 60 with negative sign so it will be 0 that means minus 2 is our base solution now i will write the coefficient of this cubic equation for synthetic division method so let us write 
x equal to minus 2 is our base solution. And if I will write the coefficient, then 1 is the coefficient of x cube, minus 9, 8 and 60. Leading term as it is 1. Now I will multiply with this base solution. Minus 2 times 1, minus 2, minus 11. Minus 2 times minus 11, 22, 30. Minus 2 times 30, minus 60, 0. We have coefficient for quadratic equation. x square minus 11x plus 30 equal to 0. Now again I can use factorization. I can split as the factors of 30 is 6 times 5. So we can split 11x as 6x minus 5x plus 30 equal to 0. Take x common, x minus 6 minus 5 common, x minus 6 equal to 0. x minus 6 is overall common, x minus 5. From here we are getting two solutions, 5 and 6. So we have two base solutions minus 1 and minus 2. So our final solution is x is equal to minus 1, minus 2, 5 and 6 as method number 1 also. Let's verify. So I will write check and I will begin with x equal to negative 1. Left hand side in this equation, left hand side is minus 1, right hand side is cube root of minus 1 minus 0. So cube root of minus 1 is minus 1. True. Verified x equal to minus 2. Left hand side is minus 2. Cube root of minus 2 minus 60 times minus 1. So let me write minus 60 divided by minus 10. So minus we can cancel. 0 and 0. So it is minus 2 minus 6. So we can write cube root of minus 8 which is minus 2. So it is also verified. Now x is equal to 5. Left hand side is 5. Right hand side is cube root. I will write 5 here. Minus 60 times 5 plus 1 is 6 divided by 5 minus 8 minus 3. So I can write cube root of 5. It would be plus sign and 3 and 6 I can cancel by 2. So it is 120 and which will give us cube root of 125 which is equal to LHS 5. So this is also true. Now x is equal to 6. Left hand side is 6. Right hand side is cube root of 6 minus 60 times 7 divided by 6 minus 8 minus 2. So this minus and minus I will write plus and 2 and 60 I will cancel by writing 30. So 30 times 7 cube root of 6 plus 30 times 7 it is 210 which is equal to 6. Cube root 216 equal to 6. So this is also true solution. So our final solution becomes x equal to minus 1, minus 2, 5 and 6. I hope friends you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.